In this set of videos, we will be looking at the volume and surface areas of various shapes and figures. The good thing is that we need to understand just two things, volume and surface area. First, let's look at what surface area means. We all know how a rectangle looks like. Something like this. There are two things that define a rectangle. Its length and its breadth. So what is its surface area? It's simple. It is the area of the surface it covers. Its area is defined as its length multiplied by its breadth. A special case of a rectangle is a square. It's a rectangle which has its length equal to its breadth. Let's say both the length as well as its breadth equal s units. Its area will equal s times s which is s squared units. If you already haven't, make sure you see our videos based on perimeter and area where we have shown how these formulae are derived. Anyway, why did we need to know this? Now look at this three dimensional box. How do we find its surface area? The surface area of a shape is the area its surface covers. If you look carefully, you will see that it is covered by six rectangular surfaces. One on top, one at the bottom, one in the front and one at the back, one on the left and one on the right. So this figure's surface area will be the sum of areas of the six rectangles. The three-dimensional shape we saw is called a cuboid. It's a three-dimensional shape bounded by rectangular faces. But wait, what is its volume then? Simply put, it is the amount of space it occupies. Another way of looking at it is the amount of space contained within the shape. When do we need to know its surface area? And when would we need its volume? Look at it like this. If I ask you to paint this box, you would need its surface area to find out how much paint you need. And if I ask you how much water this box can store, you would need to know its volume.